Okay, hello everyone. This is Vicki Burley, the Rocket and Prophetess, coming at you live from the water. Hope this turns out. I wanted to do a short video about some of these. I wanted to do a short video about some of these dates. Um, I don't really want to throw another date out there, you know, another date to get worried about or be afraid of. Um, but back when, in like in the 90s, when I was um, tuning into Earth Changes, I was really reading up on it in the 90s a lot. I was getting a little bit scared and worried about it. And I got a clear vision at that time, and the, the year was 2036. Now, that put my mind at ease because I thought, well, that's really far away. But, you know, that's coming up too. Um, and then it, again, as fate would have it, I'm watching TV, and they were talking about Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet, and how, he, how some of his predictions were wrong. One of the predictions that they cited as wrong was that Casey was going, predicted that the Earth was going to shift on its axis in 1936, and that didn't come to pass. So they were refuting him, saying that he really wasn't all that psychic. But here's the thing: I got to thinking, you know, 36. Maybe he just said 36, and they assumed that it was 1936. So then I even investigate this even further, find out that there's an asteroid due to possibly collide with Earth in 2036 called Apophis, which it even sounds like Apocalypse or something like that. Um, but Apophis, I looked it up and it is an Egyptian god who was sort of the trickster or like the evil evildoer or something. So I don't want to alarm anybody because I think that that's a bad thing to get in the collective unconscious, all this worry about this stuff. But. Since I did have the vision, I thought I would just put it out there. Has anybody else gotten any information regarding the state of 2036? I would really like to hear about it. Until then, this is Vicki Bird, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll talk to you soon. Hello everyone, Vicki Burley here, Rock and Roll Prophetess. I want to tell you a little bit about how I combine creativity and spirituality through creating the Tapestry of Life mandalas. Um, I started out being able to see past lives really early on as a child, and um, my own as well as other people's. By the 1990s, I was receiving past life information through astrology charts. Um, and not just doing the astrology work. This was intuitive. This is a psychic thing. It's as if I use it as a scrying wheel, and I get information by looking at your chart and looking at your re wheel. Um, this is what I now call doing a soul reading. By the late 1990s, I started seeing colors and visions of the colors and designs coming through in the charts as well. And this is when the Tapestry of Light mandalas were born. Creating the mandalas is quite a process. It can take up to five or six hours to complete. And what you end up with is a one-of-a-kind piece of art just like you. People get a lot of these mandalas. It, you can look at them and start seeing things on your own. It's a great scrying tool. It's a great... Uh, object of art for sacred space. Um, along with the uh, mandala comes the soul reading, which I do from your chart. I also offer just the soul reading, and what we're going to be offering also is a computer-generated past life reading based on uh, Edgar Casey, which is quite insightful, but I, I, I'll let you know that it is computer-generated based on the Edgar Casey readings, and I do not personally do those. Um, so go to the site www.tapestryoflifemandalas.com to learn more. And remember, you are love and beauty incarnate.